everything is now done. Closet shelves are all in. The last few pieces of trim, you know, that were needed to be done where the cabinets were, are finished. Uh, the only thing I have left is I have to paint the double doors and the single door out front on the interior side. So now it's pretty much just cleaning things up. I actually had to turn the air conditioner on a little bit ago. It's uh, in the mid-70s, but real humid. It's supposed to be rain starting overnight, and then a high of 77 tomorrow with a lot of rain. I don't know if it's all coming at one time. I just know there's about an inch predicted. And, uh, and then the following day, it's going to be 55 for a high. So uh, just needed to get the humidity out for a little bit here. Well, last night I got everything cleaned up real nice in here. Now this room echoes. I don't have a whole lot left to do here, just some odds and ends. I have to paint the doors, of course, and uh, just a few things. I got my truck running right now. I'm gonna go pick up one of the um, end cap things for the countertop here, and uh, I need an iron to put it on, so <laughs> I need to buy an iron. And I think I'm going to drive up and uh, go check out that wildlife management area. I haven't been there for a couple of years, see if anything has changed. And then I'll take the uh, interstate over to uh, Home Depot. It's been a while since I've been out this direction. They haven't improved the road at all. Oh, I can see from here there's a bunch of people fishing off the bridge, so I'm not even going to drive up there. It was nice when I first started coming into this place, they had just opened it. I didn't know that but nobody really knew about it too much. If I do decide to fish there, like today it's supposed to get to 77 degrees, then there's a good chance of some severe storms this afternoon, and then I think the highs are in the 50s after that, so I would go out there then. For me, that's like a summer day. For people down here, that's a winter. <laughs> Might not be as many people on the bridge fishing. Just, just getting painted the same color as the ceiling. 
And eventually I've got to get some new trim around this. So there was some nails sticking out here and some tape and mud I had to get cleaned up. I did pick up one of these end caps and an iron, so I'll eventually get this put on too. I got that all trimmed and I have some I went ahead and sealed up all the cracks and everything with caulking so I'm gonna to have to come in and paint again probably tomorrow for the last hour here I've been setting up the second ring doorbell for the front door I got that all hooked up and now I'm gonna go through the process and share that with Melissa so she can see both the front door and the back door just like I can with uh, our cloquet one and tonight it is New Year's Eve, so people are popping fireworks off out there like crazy. They don't do that in Minnesota. All those fireworks and it's only 6.34 at night. <laughs> Melissa used to hate that when she had the dogs in here. They did not like that. And New Year's, there's a big one. Um, Christmas, there are some. But New Year's was always really big. And of course, the 4th of July. Well, everyone, it's about a quarter to 11 and I'm going to bed. The fireworks have not stopped. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy New Year. I'm heading to Melissa's mom's right now to have black-eyed peas and cabbage. Yeah, we're going to eat out of the pots. <laughs> <laughs> that's our plates right that's, there. Yeah, that's our plate. <laughs> And I think I'm going to leave the cornbread in the, in the skillet. It's actually pretty soft, so I'm going to... Okay, I got four pieces of it should be good. butter here. And you know, we love black eyed peas and cabbage, but this... Well, I got back from Melissa's mom's. Uh, probably two hours ago. I've just been editing on the latest video. But uh, I want to run this dishwasher. I've got a few dishes. They're just pretty much dusty and stuff. But I want to run a load through this dishwasher because now would be the, be the time to uh, figure out if I have any leaks or not. I wouldn't, Melissa's going to come down here at the end of the month and I don't want her to find out. Something isn't working right when I can be here to fix it. I don't think I've loaded a dishwasher and I bet eight years at least I just <laughs> I almost forget how to do it. I just don't have one anywhere on that.
Well, so far so good. They said it would take like three hours and two minutes according to the thing on top and it's been stuck at three minutes, three hours or whatever for at least five minutes. So I don't know how that works, but no leaks. Well, we're an hour and a half in, no leaks. Everything's working great. I'm sure a bunch of that will be the heat cycle that dries it, but uh, yeah, and the dishwasher isn't too loud either. It's been so long, uh, well, for those of you that have a dishwasher, you know when you put the dishes in, the house smells like the dishwasher is uh, going, and I haven't smelled that in so long. That looks pretty nice and clean. dishes so <laughs> I was texting with Melissa tonight or messaging her and uh, telling her that when we redo the farmhouse I can't wait to have a dishwasher yeah everything looks good okay everyone well my video is finished editing I watched it I had a mistake it's re-rendering right now it's a little after 10.30, so I'm going to go to bed pretty soon. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. I decided to tackle this uh, ceiling fan this morning and get this done. Oh, well, the ceiling fan is in. They don't make them self-leveling, or at least this one wasn't, so the box up in the ceiling was a little bit crooked, so I had to do a little bit of shimming on the actual bracket that holds it so it would hang straight, but it looks good now. Well, I got the door all taped off and ready for paint. It's about a quarter after 12, so I'm going to have some lunch. I know in a previous video somebody said that he was a painter. Why do I have uh, the blue tape on there? He was just goofing around. I replied, because I'm not a painter. <laughs> I'm just not comfortable enough not having things taped off. I'm just in the sunroom here tonight uh, washing these windows. They're absolutely filthy inside, so I'm just doing this. I was going to paint the front door, but then I ran the caulking around it and it's still too wet for me to tape to it, so I decided just to do windows. I should be able to pull this tape off of these doors now anytime. Everything looks pretty dry. Well, I got the last air vent in. I have to do a little bit of touch-up paint on top of it, but uh, that's done.
Okay, everyone, I'm just watching Star Trek on Hulu. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It was real chilly this morning. Everything was covered in frost. And I want to get out of the house for a little bit, so I want to drive up towards Laplace. And there's a park back there where Melissa and I would go fishing for redfish in the last, I don't know, the last few years when I tried to get back there, you couldn't get back there. They were doing some work on the road. And uh, I just want to see if you can get back there now or not. I did a video on that before. I mean, it's a really nice little park back there. Well, that trip, uh, it was good to get out of the house. I talked to Melissa the whole entire time. You know, it took an hour and 34 minutes round trip, but the place that I wanted to go back on Lake Pontchartrain um, is still closed. They were working there today. You guys, I'm sure you could see that. Um, so you can't get back to that park. I wanted to uh, try for redfish. And then I went to the Bonnie Carey Spillway and that was closed. You couldn't get in there. <laughs> So, I don't know, I got shut down at every turn again, but it was good to get out of the house for a little bit. Well, I finally got all of the door painting done. These doors here, they just literally take hours because you got all the taping off to do, and then you have to do two coats. Well, it looks good, but I prefer the old way where you use the contact cement. That just seems to me like it's gonna pop loose. 
once it cools down I have to do a little bit of filing we'll see how solid that is Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I think I'll end this one right now. I'm, again, I'm not sure how much I've got. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's been that long, but um, well, the SD card is getting filled up, so tomorrow now I will start uh, cleaning things up. It's just going to be cleaning. I want to get the yard cleaned up, uh, wash the floors and the tile and stuff in here. And because uh, what it's uh, uh, five days, and I'll be or four days, and then the fifth day, right away in the morning, I'll be heading north. So you'll get one more video down here before the trip from Louisiana to Minnesota. I will see you guys on the next video.